Hello everyone and welcome to Cam Tie Handmade Creations and another tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to crochet a dragonfly. So as always, I don't like to dawdle, so let's get started. So I have a, a category 4 yarn here. You can use any size hook that you want. It is, I'm also using a 5 millimeter hook, my bamboo hook here. I'm going to go ahead and make my slip knot. This is a fairly easy um, stitch to make. The dragonfly is fairly easy to make. I'm going to go ahead and chain 20 chains. I'm going to speed up a little bit to get through this process. But you go ahead and double crochet 20 chains. I mean, don't double crochet, just chain 20 chains. Okay, so we now have our 20 chains. We're going to go ahead and double crochet in the fifth chain from the hook and that's going to give you 17 double crochets so this uh, your turning chain counts as a double crochet so now you're just going to make one double crochet in each chain all the way across and you should have 17 double crochets when you get to the end okay so now i have my 17 double crochets going across i'm going to chain three and turn my work we're going to start working on the head portion of this dragonfly skip your first stitch double crochet into that next stitch your turning chain that three chain counts as a double crochet make your way across once you get to your eighth stitch you're going to chain one skip one and then continue making your double crochets across so i'm getting to that point And I believe this is the last stitch here. So now go ahead and go into that next stitch. You chained one, go into that next stitch, skip a stitch, go into the next stitch with a double crochet. And that'll leave you a box right there in between. And just continue making your way down with your double crochets. When you're done, you should have 16 double crochets eight on one side and eight on the other with your box in the middle okay so i have my 18 double crochets here i'm going to go ahead and chain three and turn my work so the next thing i'm going to do is again your chain three counts as a double crochet you're going to skip that make one double crochet in the next stitch another double crochet in the next stitch chain four five six seven eight nine ten chain ten you're going to skip all of those stitches in between and go down to your last three double crochets and make three double crochets at the end it's a bit tricky your yarn's probably going to um, twist around a little bit just figure it out the best way you can <laughs> it's not too bad once you get used to it and I'm making my final double crochet into this uh, three chain from the previous row I'm going to chain three and turn my work as you can see it's starting I can't say it's really starting to form but you see where I'm going I have that little square in the middle and this long chain going down the middle as well this is there's a reason for that chain stick with me so go ahead and chain three and turn your work so now we're going to go ahead and do another double crochet skip that first stitch because of course it counts as a double crochet So now we're going to skip that first double crochet of the first three chain because it counts as a double crochet go into that next stitch with a double crochet and in the next stitch you will put two double crochets so here i'm putting one double crochet and in this next one i'm going to put two double crochets that will give you four double crochets going across Now you're going to chain four. Then we're going to take our hook and go into that box stitch. 
and have the chain, the 10 chain in there as well. So you're going to incorporate, go into the box stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. I mean, go into your, pull up a loop, make sure that 10 chain is in there as well. Go ahead and yarn over and make a single crochet. Now in this section, you can put a bobble stitch or you can put a double crochet. It doesn't have to be a single crochet. I'm just showing you where to position that single crochet. But again, it could be a double crochet or a bobble stitch. It's completely up to you how you want it to look. So then we're going to go ahead and chain four. Once you've chained four, you're going to immediately go over to the other side of your stitches um, to make your double crochets on the other side. So I've chained four and now I'm going all the way to the other side to that next double crochet. I'm going to put two double crochets here and then one in the next one and then one in the last one. Once you get to the end, just go ahead and put your double crochet in that last three chain and chain three and turn your work. So you should have four double crochets on one side and four double crochets on the other side of your dragonfly. So let's chain three and we're going to turn. Chain three and turn. Let's move on to the next section. So now we're going to go ahead and we will skip this first stitch again, go in and make a double crochet across. We're pretty much finishing off this dragonfly. So now we're going to make these four double crochet here. And then in that 10 chain space, you're going to make another four double crochets. Right here where I'm inserting my hook is where you put your double crochets. So you want to put four here in this space. Once you have your four double crochet in there, chain one, and then immediately go into the next section right where I'm putting my hook and put your four double crochets. Once you have your four double crochets, just continue going across, making your double crochets all the way across until you get to the end. Okay, so this is what we have so far. I made my four double crochets in that 10 chain. I'm gonna continue across and finish making my double crochets. So now all we're really doing is adding our, uh, the tail of the dragonfly in here. So that's what these extra rows are. So you're just gonna continue along making your double crochet rows. Once you've made your first eight double crochets, you're going to go ahead and chain one, skip one, and make another eight double crochets. And that's going to make your tail for your dragonfly. So I'm going to continue making these rows here and I'll be back. I'm going to do one more row here so we can make sure that you got it. Chain three and turn your work. Skip your first stitch, go into the next stitch with eight double crochets, or rather seven more double crochets because that mm -hmm. chain counts as a double crochet. You're going to chain one, skip one, and go right into those next eight double crochets. You can make this tail as long as you want to. It is totally up to you. So I'm going to speed up a little bit and continue, and I'll show you when I get back to the end.
Okay, so let's take a look at what we have so far. And I'm going to just flip it around and show you what that looks like. So this portion where I'm pointing is where your tail is. So you just make some more double crochet rows over here. Don't forget to chain one and skip one and go into your next double crochet. So I'm just going to continue on with this and I'm going to show you the final result at the end. So now I did a few more rows here and I'm going to flip it around so you can see what I got going on. I love these dragonflies because you can make them any size that you want. You can put as many, uh, I was going to say butterflies, as many dragonflies as you want. And it's going to come out just like this. This is how you do that dragonfly stitch. So I want to thank you for watching this tutorial today on how to make a dragonfly. Stay tuned for more tutorials. I'm trying to be as quick as possible without losing you at the same time. So thanks again. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Cam Tie Handmade Creations. Oh, I'm sorry, Cam Tie Handmade Crochet. <laughs> I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye-bye.